Alright then. Um, hello and welcome. My name is Acting Relic. And I'm about to embark on a journey that may not be the wisest decision, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We, um, like all the other playthroughs I've done for my channel so far have been, like, I've really tried to focus on completing it really quickly. This is not a game where that is a wise decision as Skyrim is rather long, as it were. But I have an idea that I'll b break it up into essentially sagas. So the first, um, I will definitely do the main line story quest first. Um, what comes after that is up to my choice. I've recently acquired the legendary edition copy of the game, so I now have access to all the DLC. So if I want to jump from main storyline to Dawn Guard or to Dragonborn or something like that, I can. But I'm going to do main story first and then choose which one of the other quest lines I'm going to do. I would like to do all of them. Usually when I play this game, I try and do every single one of the quest lines. So, this could take a while. And I'm... These will not be released in bulk like the other um, episodes have been. Where I've just been... I've finished all my editing. Dump onto YouTube. Go. This is going to be a very slow, one, pro, possibly one per day, maybe even one every other. We'll see. So, um, we're gonna start a new game and see how it goes. Yes, I would like to start a new game. So I came about Skyrim in a rather strange way. Um, when I was when I was in high school, um, I well, I was obviously really into games. I I have been since I was probably like thirteen or so. That was when I really started playing on console, at least. I uh, PC was actually my first stuff. I played a ton of runescape um shout out to any runescape fans that game still lives i still go on every now and again anyways um i asked uh, a teacher's assistant of mine like he said he was re uh used to play games but was like, oh what did, what kind of games do you used to play and he's like oh i used to play this game called oblivion i was like oh that's interesting so i found myself a copy of Oblivion, started playing, a lot of fun. And then, 2010 rolls around, spiked Game Awards, Pfft. Game Awards are nothing, all I wanted to see from them was new announced trailers and um, also uh, who won Game of the Year. It, I thought it was going to be um, Halo Reach or Black Ops 1, but it ended up being... Um, Red Dead Redemption, which makes a lot of sense because that game is excellent. Anyways, I saw the trailer for this and I was just blown away because it was, it was like, okay, hey, you. it's on the caliber of, Bli of Oblivion, but what are they adding in? Oh, dragons. Okay, that's, that's worthy enough, so, November, uh, November 11th, 2011. About they hadn't been looking for 10 o'clock at night, I went in line to GameStop to get my collector's edition box and the very first edition of the um, guidebook. That first guidebook was already a thousand pages. Anyways, so I've played this game through... Well, I have one character... On my old Xbox that I played to level 80, 
And then, and I have a character on here that's level 38. So I know, I know this game reasonably well. The one thing I don't terribly know that much is the lore. And that's one thing I would really like to learn more about. Anyways, I'll shut up and let the cutscene talk. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Akatosh! Divines! Please help me! I don't believe the Dragon of Time will General be back in the world. military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Uh, this is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Where are they, Daddy? Where are they going? Now, I am aware that Skyrim on PC is better. And if I had the computing power in my PC, I would play it. But I don't. Because if I did, I wouldn't be playing regular Skyrim. I'd be playing Skyrim Super Edition with all the different mods. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Okay. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage. You've got to tell them we worked with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. <laughs> halt! You're not gonna kill me. Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. So. Who are you? Oh, man. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Now, once again, we come to the character creation stage of things, but I'm going to do this quite quickly. I always, I usually play Nord, because I just like the design. Um, Nord was the one they really upgraded in this one. Um, Oblivion. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. See, the one thing I wish, um, if you're going to have character creation where you can add scars, you should be able to, um, like, have a stylus and draw in the scar you want, because no game ever has the exact one that I want. Like, that one's pretty close, but the one that I want reaches from top left temple all the way to bottom right cheek it's just this full face gash but I'm, I'm gonna go with that got any good ones in here eh. nah uh, that nose is fine Jaw looks fine. 
Not big on eyes. Meh, I think the, the standard ones. Sadly, there's no really good zoom key. Sadly, my eyesight sucks like the color is on. That looks fine. Mm, no need for that. What other browser? Oh, fine. Oh, that's fine. Here we go. There we go. That looks good. Um, that one looks nice. And red. All right. Finish and name your character. Okay. So what do they give? They don't give me anything. Hmm. What should I call? All right. I've come up with a name, and so there's probably a proper way to. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong mainly because I just made it up off the top of my head, but I call, I pronounce that as Marle Deus. So, that's what I'm going to go with. I think it sounds cool. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Bitch! I hold us, Captain. Fuck so, you! At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain, prisoner. Fine. Here we go. That's the other thing about playing on P uh, Skyrim on consoles. No matter if you even s install the disc to hard drive, it'll Don't still lag home. like crazy. Some here in Helgen. When trying to load things. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. Ah. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Hmm. Give them their last right. How do I listen to Tullius' line? It, it, it's as if he knows what's going on. Which makes sense because the Imperials are um, aligned with the Thalmor. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Oh no. You Imperial bastards! As fearless in death as he was in life. Oh, oh, you're over there. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Fine. Couldn't even pull the guy out of the way for a gun. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. What in oblivion is that? 
Dragon! No. I would really like to see one fantasy story where the ultimate um, bad guy dragon is not black. Like, it's the bad guy, well, in, um, World of Warcraft, uh, Deathwing, he's dark. In, um, uh, the Aragon series, uh, the Inheritance series, it's a black. In this one, it's a black track. In... Hell, in RuneScape, the, the, before members expanded, one of the most powerful enemies was, what, the King Black Dragon. We get it, Black Dragons are cool, but pick another color that can be worked with. One of the best dragons in this game is one that's pure golden. Woohoo! Uh, Run, 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 run. Jumped up. Hammond, you need to get over here now. Madam, you're doing great. That's it. Oh, good. Out, hot. You run away. Do 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 do. This way. Well, you guys are making progress. Bye. <laughs> but why can't there be other colors of dragon that you have to fight? I I know it would be a little preposterous, but what if you could fight a purple dragon? No, I know it just thinks of either Puff Magic Dragon or a, or the, um, um, we'll meet again in Sodom. Or Spyro. But, come on. Looks Artists like can do almost anything. Somebody, somebody came up with the idea for Seath, the scaleless. That's a white dragon with no legs and no eyes. Times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Thank you. You may as well take Gunner's gear. You won't be needing it anymore. Weapons, axe, apparel, for boots, cuirass. Grab Gunyar's gear. No shame in borrowing a friend's axe. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Damn it, man. Won't you move faster? Damn. No way to open this from our side. Come on! It's the Imperials! They cover! You know, if the Imperials didn't come along, we would have been probably stuck in here for quite a while. Bruh! I'm on your side! Axe. Axe. Maybe one of these imperials have the key. Key.
switch into the Imperial armor. Dual swords. Just one. Or the dragon brings the whole tower. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, we're not going that way. God, I forgot how low your stats are when you start this. Might as well take it. All right. Done. Let's get moving. Get out. Grab it. Okay. There we go. Now, I really enjoyed the lock picking and mechanic in this one, juxtaposed to the one that's in Oblivion, because that that one in Oblivion. Because, well, especially for harder locks, a lot of those um, um, locks, you had to do it very quickly. Where with this one, you can take your time and figure out which, how to properly um, sparks. Flames. Healing man. Equip that. Maybe one of those so. Anyways. Nope. Now the easiest way to, I honestly only do so much lock picking for a while and then I just complete the Thieves Guild quest line to get the skeleton key, which I made the mistake of turning that thing in quite early in during one of my character runs, worst mistake you can. You want to keep that thing to the, like, 
possibly even never turn. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Just give the general some time. For the sons of Skyrim. Run. Sorry. Whoop. Take your arrows and your go. I guess with the The patches with the legendary version and give you more chances for kill moves to happen. Probably because Bethesda is so proud of themselves that they came up with those kill animations. If this is a root. Yes. Gold. Health skeleton. This is anyway. Doo -doo -doo. Come on, this way. Yes, I know. Thank you. Money. That doesn't go anywhere. Yes, I think I remember, like, the night I started playing, just just seeing these spiders for the. Though, these spiders become infinitely better when you have mods and can make them look like um, standing up bears, Spider-Man, and several other things. Weapons. Yes, I see the bear. Sadly, what I really wish with these kinds of um, fantasy games is that it was the arrow shot. Just and sometimes you can, it, like if you put up a put a whole bunch of arrows into um, an animal or a creature, you can get. A whole But oftentimes, once you get to higher archery skills, you'll shoot one arrow and take it out because you've got high archery and high sneak, and it just insta kills it, and you can't retrieve. Arrow. There he is. Wait. Bye, Alduin. See you later. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with God, my character looks now. dumb. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, 
Runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. Okay. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. Okay. Wouldn't have made it without your help today. See ya. What? Get going. I'm going my own path. Because there's a real quick, easy way to grab a rather helpful spell. If Oblivion had had the spell, it would have made it a hundred times easier to do certain things. Because Skyrim's quests make reasonable sense in how they work. How you're supposed to progress through. Oblivions, there were a couple where I was like, where the hell do I go? And it's possibly because the console version is just so plagued by um, lighting issues. Never should have come here. Hey, oh. <laughs> Damn, nice. Um, but there's one in particular, I think it's, it has to do with going after the, a ancient Akapiri, I believe it. Um, the ancient Knights of the Blade, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um. There's a quest to go into this hidden mountain castle thing, and you have to get to the end of it to collect all this cool um, artifacts to bring back to the um, one of the uh, rulers of country. Oblivion. I, I honestly don't. Yeah, no. Anyways, so you go through all that, and then you get to this point where you have to cross a bridge. This again. But if you don't look very carefully on every pillar for the switch, you'll never find it. And the quest marker does not tell you at all where it is. What I enjoy is that you have a sort of pseudo Metal Gear style hit a random surface with your projectile and they will be attracted. Down is gold, I believe, and a book. Now, while I'll be showing a lot about um, this game and how I interact with it, there there will be sometimes where I'll just do some off-screen um, grinding and some particular side quests like all the main quest lines and certain quests that I find interesting I will show but there will be some um, that I won't show doing certain side quests or just going into particular dungeons to get things I'm gonna try and do everything, but there's just some stuff where I I just sit here and grind at so I can get better gear, spells, everything, and everything. Oh, nice. 
Oh, really? Interesting. Passes right through the goddamn bridge. Right here. Spell Tome Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance tells you you hold it up in the air and it directs you to wherever um, the next piece of your quest is. single one of these is a goddamn key. I'm not com I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised. Chess, gold, lockpicks. Knight, arrows. Switch to Night. Stay there. I'm. I don't know if I'm disappointed or happy that the whole weapon degrading system in Elder Scrolls games is gone. Because, well, when they removed the skill armor and replaced it with actual smithing, it gave you the ability to make your own actual weapons, which was a lot nicer. But also, with armor, you were able to just repair your own items and just not have to go to, not have to pay people and stuff like that. I don't know. It was... It, it was very useful to carry around just when you get to 100 armor, carry around one repair hammer, and you could go through an entire dungeon without someone there. ever being. Your belly like an old woman. <laughs> ever having to leave and just go through everything and repair if necessary. Because back in Oblivion, you there were some times where you'd have to leave mid-dungeon because just all your equipment was broken and all the stuff that you had with you, you either couldn't use or you didn't want to use it so that you could sell it. Chess. Gold. Gold. Smithing up, and that's a level up, yep. Iron. Swords, ingots. Um, I am going to use grindstone. Upgrade my grade. There we go. And now I will promptly leave and head for Riverwood. I find it interesting that even in the sections, like, Helgen and Riverwood are not that snowy of sections, like, they are just simple, kind of slightly northern sections, and it's very green and luscious country at 
at parts like look at this this doesn't look like frozen tundra like there's a bit here and there but a lot of this is all like green but how you go from green country to tundra that fast is interesting oh god look at the look at the fucking textures loading in anyways here um up health one perk to you hmm and I'm not going to use it just and first before I go Riverwood I want to backtrack so that I can get to the standings Now the one thing I wish they would have included in the Legendary Edition were would be patches that would increase the draw distance because I've seen what um, Skyrim looks like when you don't have when you have the mod for increased draw distance and it looks a hell of a lot better like you can see the when standing in um white run you can see the top of or where high high Throthgar is and here all you see is just clouds fog it's a, it's a bethesda trick that allows them to load these giant worlds is they only load sections of them at a time and close them off in pieces of fog so that they don't have to render that far um the joke i've heard is something called turok fog because i guess the game turok also did that. a tremendous amount like so here knows what happened how Girders probably working in her lumber mill. I followed it. How I got this far behind him, like only maybe a couple minutes behind him, is amazing. Because I went through an entire dungeon. I don't know. Hey, girl. Girder. Brother. Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerder. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? <laughs> and who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Pod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Stand drunk on the job again? Pod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha! Huh. I'll be right down. Dude, you can jump. It's not that hard. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know all for Doki. Hush, Rodnar. This is no time nice to dog. How are you? Go and watch the sound. Good dog. Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aww, mama. I, I wonder who whose job it was to to work on just dog AI, because they did a pretty good job. I wish there were more different kinds of dogs. They did a pretty good job. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, 
What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. And now we listen to Rail of Talk. The news you heard about Alfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Me. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of Oh jeez, I'm watching Raylov's feet fucking phase through like. the ground. Um, uh, I don't need I'll take the lockpick. I'll take. I'll take the ring. There is something you could do for me, for all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. <laughs> Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay. I'm glad to help Thanks, any way sister. I can. I'll go, I'll go see Ball and Balgriff. Hmm. Alright. I think that's a good point to pause for this episode. Um, next, I'm going to head into the first dungeon and then off to Whiterun.